de John Smith, el modelo del 2000. Trastorno de personalidad múltiple Muñecas de papel Capítulo 2 Vamos a iniciar Que eso me interesa man. Ay, ese man va a ir a tocar Y se van a ver los dos men. Déjame que hable con él. Ay. Oh god. Oh god, what the hell has happened to me? Uh, hello? Are you okay in there? No. No, I'm really not. I'm having a terrible nightmare. I'm horribly disfigured and fat old. Keep your voice down. I'm scaring my daughter. Who the hell are you? Why do you sound like me? <laughs> Open the door. Guys, I know it loves those. Jesus H. Christ! You've stolen my body! I haven't done anything. Do you think I've got a clue what's going on? Wait. What I recognize this face in the mirror. This is your body. That must make you the bloke who brings the post. <laughs> For the name John. I'm not going to complain about that at this moment. Help! No! Shut up! No! What the hell are you doing? Your dad's a little bit of a <laughs> That's alright, isn't it? Sure. What's wrong with my dad? ¿Qué le pasa a mi papá? Estómago revuelto. He just has an upset stomach, nothing serious. He probably just ate some gone off meat or something. He was screaming because of an upset stomach. Maybe it's that jelly. Quizás Va a tener que volver al hospital eh, Está bien eh. Ay, verdad, men y, y, el, y el otro men no sabe que que se man está enfermo del corazón. Y el otro man no sabe. Hey Molly. Hello. Whoever you are. Hey Shaz, this is Jack. Molly, where's your dad? He's not feeling well. Jack said he did number two all around his bedroom. Then he walked me to school. Oh, ooh. Thanks for that colourful interpretation there. He, he's, he's fine, he's just a bit ill. Who are you again? I told you, he's Jack. You're going to be late for school, Molly. Okay. Okay, 
John's cousin. Right. Why don't I believe you? Test me if you like. Ask me something that only someone close to John would know. I'm not playing games. Please. Well, what's John's mum called? Ay, man, yo no sé cómo se llama. Creo que se llama Jen. Biggest phobia? Su mayor fobia, atracciones rápidas, se las gomos los gatos, atracciones rápidas. You really John's cousin? Yeah. Sí. I'm, I'm glad I bumped into you actually. He asked whether you could tell Clive he won't be in today. He's going to be in the for that. But sure, I can tell him. Thanks, Shaz. But sh Shaz, yeah. I appreciate it. John's so fragile. I often say he could use some help around the house. Again, really appreciate it. Ahora sí puede correr con ese man, ya, ya puede correr relajadito. Vamos a ver qué sucede aquí. Right. You're not going to scream at me again, are you? Yo creo que ya no está, ¿sí vio? Se imagina donde ese man se va y ahí va, o sea, ya iba a correr porque este man trotaba todos los días. Se va a morir, men. Hay alguien que está... Jack, what the hell? Do you know this guy? Amy, it's me! I'm Jack! <laughs> He's my neighbor. He's not feeling very well. I think he just took some tablets. LSD or something. How does he know my name? <laughs> He's lying. Amy, it's me. We've been friends forever. Oh, uh, I guess I told him about you. Why? What did you tell him? Oh, you know, that you're a good friend. That I can open up to you and you'll listen. Yeah, you're a good listener. Well done for listening. Your favorite ice cream's rum and raisin. Your favorite sport is basketball. You secretly smoke, but you'll never tell anybody. Shut up! Did you seriously tell him all this shit about me? <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. Anyway, I'll take care of him. You go to uh work. Don't go, Amy. Amy, help me! I need your help. Great idea. Sorry again about this. It's nothing personal. We just need a cup of coffee to straighten him out. Yeah. Bye. Amy! Jack! Ay, no puede correr, man. No. You've done this. You put a spell on me or something. You're evil. Will you stop a minute? We need to talk about this. Just no. God, my body is so weird. Jesus, don't you ever exercise? Sonia in my contact, she's 
3. Supercap Games, Sonia speaking. Oh, hi, Sonia. It's Jack. I've got a wobbly tummy and can't make it in today. Oh, no worries, I've told Derek. Enjoy your lion. <clears throat> Thanks. I will. Done. So you say. Hey, hang on a minute. Your phone's buzzing. <coughs> Answer it. Say you're me. Uh, hello? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Who was it? Again, Ada. I seem to let them know in future if you plan to keep Molly home for the day. Such an idiot. Shouldn't have taken her to school. She must have been so confused about everything. Well, you did drop her off in my body. I mean, she possibly thought that was a little bit weird. Shut up and help me look for her. Hey, Tuna Ghost Gun. Laiha. Try that first. It feels seriously weird being here. Oh, everything jiggles about as I move. Can you focus on the matter at hand? My daughter may have been kidnapped. Mate, she's probably just drinking cider behind a tree somewhere. Not playing on the swings then? All right, drinking cider on the swings. Ah, see, I saw. Parks are for getting pissed. Dad! Molly, thank goodness you're all right. Oh, hi, Jack. Nice to see you. This is going to take some explaining. So I didn't go to school. Am I in trouble? What? Nah. Be cool. No worries. Promise me you'll never do that again. You scared me to death. Why have I been so weird? Dad, I was worried you were poorly, so I wanted to go home. But then I got scared you'd be angry. Are you going to tell her or am I? There's something we need to talk to you about. Let's get you out. Oh my god, how reaction when they tell her? Ask John that. Uh, uh, I mean, Jack. We have something to tell you that affects all three of us. Is it about our post? Okay. Oh. You know, on Halloween, where everyone dresses up in different clothes and tends to be someone else. Well, this is a little bit like that. What? Our brains have got swapped. <laughs> to the point. Okay, something happened, we're not sure what, but it does mean that I, your dad, now lives in this body, Jack's. Basically, I'm Jack and he's John. You've swapped brain? Yes. Nor my dad? Yeah. And this isn't a joke? No. Okay. Chicken dippers. <laughs> Solid dinner choice, John. So, what happens now? Yo creo que después de get our old bodies back. All right. Dad. Yo creo que después de eso, so dos manes van a hallar muy bien. It's all right. You come out in the wash. You both look a bit of a state. You should dress each other up properly. Got a point. None of my clothes are going to fit me anymore. Okay, we'll go get my stuff, but I want them back in the same condition I left them. She's a smart kid. She is. How do you put up with feeling out of breath all the time? Mm. You get used to it. I don't know how my clothes look so bad when you wear them. <laughs> 
gonna have to perform a wardrobe transplant on you. Transplant the armario. <coughs> soy curioso, soy curioso. ¿Qué puede pasar más adelante con estos dos personajes? Esta no me gusta, esta me gusta. Right, well, it's been quite a day. I should probably be getting to bed soon. Well, you can't stay here. Of course I can. It's my place. You need to keep up appearances. I can't have me, uh, sorry, you, living somewhere else. It's the only thing that ties me to Molly. On paper, I mean. So what do you say? You want me to move in? I'm sorry. None of this is ideal. <laughs> the more I think this through, the more problems there are. What about work? I can't keep calling in sick. I'm guessing you have a job too. So what do you do? On Monday we're going to have to cover for each other. I'm going to have to pretend to be you. And you're going to have to pretend to be 